The movie starts with John, returning from school to his home, sitting at the dining table with his family, while each one of them is busy with himself, John finishes his food, and goes to sleep. Brad, his father, tells him that there is a surprise for him under his bed, so he looks to find a drone as a gift for him, which he uses the next day, and learns how to play with it. He enters into the forest to reach a deserted place, and finds a deep hole, that distracts his him from the drone, that clings to a tree, so he tries to climb the tree to take it, but he ends up injuring his hand, so he returns home in order to clean the wound and hide it, so that his family doesn't know about it, to not get punished. The family gathers to eat breakfast, and John lies to his father that he lost his drone when he discovers the deserted hole in the forest, so he asks his family about it, and they tell him that it was used in the past as a shelter from strong storms and hurricanes. After finishing, his father takes him to practice tennis, and he's harsh on him to learn well. His sister fights with him, in order to stop playing with the ball because she can't concentrate in reading her book. At night, while John's family is sleeping, he wakes up and he's sure that they won't wake up easily because of the hypnotist he put for them, he starts pulling them out the house, and moves them one by one to the forest. Lori, John's sister, wakes up from sleep, to find herself inside a deep hole, from which it is impossible to get out, and finds her mother and father sleeping, and she wakes them up, to understand what happened to them. Brad asks about John, who's in the house alone enjoying himself. He calls the gardener and tries to copy his mother's voice, and tells him to take a vacation and not come back again, and that Brad is the one who will take care of the garden, to ensure that no one comes home while he's without his family. Then he takes his family's car, then goes to withdraw money from his father's visa to buy food. After that, his neighbor comes and asks him about his mother's Anna, so he tells her that she went with his father and sister to the hospital because his grandfather had a heart attack. They will stay with him for a long time and they left him home to study, and that Anna didn't tell anyone that she's going to the hospital because she was in a hurry. After he made sure that his neighbor got away from the house, he took food and went to the hole in which his family was. He keeps looking at them, so Brad tells him to bring the ladder in the garage so that they can get out of the hole. John remains silent, then throws food and water for them, so Lauren understands that John is the one who threw them in the hole, and tells her mother that they are in the hole because of John, but her mother couldn't believe that John did that. And then, John leaves them and returns home to take out the TV to the living room, and play with his friend Charlie online. Brad is trying to think of a way out of the hole, but its depth doesn't allow them to reach the top of it at all. On the same night, it rains on them so they become so cold. The next day, John comes and brings them heavy clothes, after that he goes without saying a word to take his friend Charlie from the bus stop to spend the day with him, and let him sleep in his house. John tells Charlie that his family has gone on a long trip, and that he is alone, and they spend most of their time playing together. John's parents are locked in the hole, Anna tries to think about why John threw them there. She tells Brad that a while ago he asked her out of the meaning of growing up, and she told him that it's to take responsibility for himself. She felt then that he was frustrated by her answer, and that this may be the reason he threw them in the hole. He wants to take responsibility for himself, but in the wrong way. John is spending his time with Charlie at home and playing together without caring about the house. At the same time, his mother is eating banana peels that he threw at them, because of the lack of food. That night John was watching his family through the camera on the drone while Charlie is with him. Next day, he drives Charlie, and in the way he stops to withdraw money from his father's visa in order to give it to his friend. Charlie is surprised, but he takes the money from him. After Charlie reaches the bus stop, John returns to his house to find his mother's friend, came to check on him, because he has been alone for a long time, while his family is still busy in the hospital. Before leaving, he asks her to sit with him, and tries to start conversations with her, so she feels that there is something wrong about John and that he is trying to get close to her, and talk to her about private matters, even though she's his mother's age. She calls his mother to check on her, her phone rings in the kitchen, so she makes sure that something is wrong. She goes out of the house to come the next day, with the police to investigate the disappearance of John's family, but John hides in his room, and doesn't open the door to the police, as if he isn't in the house. The police move around the house to find any trace of a crime but they don't find anything, so they leave. John's family is tired to do anything, because they finished all the food and drinks that John brought to a half days ago, so Laurie tells them that John will never return, and will leave them to die in the hole, because this is what he wants, but his mother is worried about him, and afraid that something bad might happen to him. 
John is in the pool trying to lock himself under the water for as long as possible. Suddenly, the gardener comes to save him. He tells him that he's in the house next to him, and he came to check on John's father to see if he needs help in the garden. He looks to find that no one cared about the garden, suspecting what John told him on the phone, that Brad will take care of it. John offers him to sit with him for a while, and that he will cook for him, as if he is trying to gain friends, but the gardener tells him that he'll return the next day to meet his father and check on him. After that, John goes to cook some food and takes it to his family and gives it to them by a rope without saying a word. Brad tries to hold the rope that John uses, but it breaks easily. Everyone sits down to eat after starving for two and a half days. John stays with them on the edge of the hole to share the food with them, because he hated being home alone at night. Later, he drives his father's car for the first time at night, then he pulls over and walks in the forest until dawn. Finally, he feels broken and alone without the presence of his family, and that his time for reaching maturity hasn't come yet, so he goes and looks at his family while they are sleeping in the hole, crying for what he did to them. Lori sees him, so she thanks him for the food he made for them, and she tells him that it's very tasty, and she apologizes to him for anything bad she did to him. She also reminds him of the tennis match, and encourages him not to forget his date. John keeps looking at his sister, then he goes home. Lori goes back to sleep again, then everyone hears a sound coming from the top of the hole, to find a ladder coming down to them. When they get out, they don't find anyone, but they find a bottle of water. When they arrive at the house, they find John dead in the swimming pool, and they run towards him to save him, but the truth is, he pretends that he is trying to commit suicide, in order to gain their sympathy, and to not get punished for locking them in the hole, even though, regret appears on his face for what he did. After that, Brad closes the hole so that what happened will not happen again. John returns to the dining table with his family, who decided to end the matter and not talk to him about it, because it could have been worse.